And the World Cup semi-finals are upon us. And uh, as usual, during this World Cup, we have Welsh legend Jonathan Davies to join us to analyse these two semi-finals. So, Jonathan, first we'll talk about England versus France. We give England a nine-point head start on this one, but outright they are nine to four. France a one to three shot. But uh, in competitive action, of course, uh, we did have. England beaten twice in those uh, recent outings against France. The so last time in the Six Nations, uh, they got turned. Uh, France got turned over by England 26-18. The last time they met in the semi-final of a World Cup, which was, of course, 2003. Uh, England obliged then as well. Is there any chance that could happen uh, tomorrow, Jonathan? Well, I think all the you know the games in the, in the past won't mean anything. Um, it's a pressure pot situation, semi-final. Um, you know, France. After beating the All Blacks, um, they're really up for it. But uh, they're going back to Paris, and the pressure is on them. You know, England can go there and, and and have a crack at them, and if they can just contain them for the first 20 minutes, you know, never know what could happen. And with a nine-point start, I think semi-finals are generally very tight because people play within themselves. So I still I still think that France will will just sneak it. But uh, with a nine start, I think England, you know, I might I'm, I might take England with that. Well, there you have it, folks. Jonathan Davies tips up England. We didn't th- think we'd see that day, Jonathan. With nine points, Tom. Come on now. <laughs> only joking, only joking. And uh, you fancy any to try score? Or do you think it'll be a, a, mainly a kicking affair tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, there could be one try in it. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's very difficult I think, to predict how they will play. But it's, I don't, I can't imagine it being a wide open game. So, you know, maybe the. One of the four would be the best bet. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Jonathan.